in week one, we spent a little bit of time getting to grips with the basics of tennis. We talked about movement. We talked about hand-eye coordination. Hey everybody, and welcome to our fourth tennis session. In this session, we're going to be looking at the most important shot in the game, and it's called the serve. Hopefully you can remember the other sessions we've done. So far, we've worked on our basic tennis skills and movement. We've looked at the forehand, we've looked at the backhand, and now this week, is gonna be the toughest one yet. Before we get into it, like always, you're gonna go on a bit of a hunt around the house to see if you can find a few things that are gonna help you with your session. The first thing that you need to find is a tennis racket or something similar. Remember the trusty chocolate lid? Or if you've got a book at home or something you've been using in previous sessions, you can use that. The second thing you're going to need is your ball. It could be a tennis ball or anything that looks like a tennis ball that bounces or a ball of socks. And finally, you're going to need a cap. We use the cap in, in session number two. So you're gonna bring along a baseball cap as well. Now, if you can't find some of these things, don't worry, you can use your hands instead of a cap. And I'm sure you could roll a ball of tissue into a ball instead of using socks or a tennis ball. But your job is to try to find as many of those things as you can in one minute. Remember to check with your parents beforehand just to make sure that you're using the right items and make sure that when you set up, you've got a nice safe space, not too close to any televisions or any breakable vases or windows, make sure you've got a nice clear area. Okay, you've got one minute to find all of those items. Your time starts now. Okay, your time is up. So gather all of the things that you found, put them in a small space in the room that you're working in, and make sure you've got a bit of an area where you can move around in. So before we get warmed up, I'm gonna quickly explain what a serve actually is. So remember, we've learned the forehand, which is where we use our favorite hand only. We've learned a backhand where we use both of our hands. And now we're gonna learn the serve. Now the serve is the most important shot in tennis because when we play tennis matches, every single point starts with the serve. Now, you might have seen, if you've seen any professional tennis players play tennis on the television, a serve is where you throw the ball up above your head and you've got to hit it like so. I'm gonna grab my ball. Now the serve is the most powerful shot in the game of tennis. And there are some professional tennis players that hit the ball at 150 miles per hour. Can you imagine that?
So we're going to learn how to serve properly today. And the most important part of the serve is being able to hit it when it's above your head. So we want a nice controlled throw and a nice hit stretching up as high as we possibly can. So before we start serving, we're gonna put all of our equipment down and we are going to do a very quick warm up. So find your space. This game is called the memory game. Now I'm going to shout out a number. Each number is going to correspond to a different shot in tennis. So if I shout number one, you're going to show me your best forehand using your hand. Now one is because we use one hand for our forehand. If I shout the number two, you're going to hit with two hands. What's that shot called? That's right, we did it last week, it's the backhand. So if I shout two, you're gonna show me your best two-handed backhand. If I shout three, you're going to pretend to throw the ball up above your head and smash it into the court for number three. They're the three numbers you've got to remember first of all, but we will make it tougher. So in between each shot, I want to see you on your toes jogging on the spot because we want to get nice and warm. So start jogging and remember the different numbers. One. Forehand, ready, steps in between. One, good. Two, two, one, well done. Three, three, don't forget to throw the ball up and hit it above your head, good. Two, one, three, Two, and pause, well done. So let's step it up a level. Your job is to shout the numbers now. So I'm gonna show you the shot and you're gonna tell me what number it is. Okay, so same thing. When you're shouting the number, I want you to do the shot at the same time. Are we ready? Good, shout it nice and loud. Excellent. Well done. Three more to go. Don't forget to shout that number. An easy way to remember is how many hands am I using? Yes, two. Yes, one. Unfortunately, I don't have three hands, but that was number three. Well done, and rest. Okay, good. Final round. This time, I'm going to shout out the name of the shot now. So instead of shouting one, two, or three, I'm going to shout forehand, backhand, or serve and you're gonna show me your best technique. But to make it tougher, I'm not going to join in because I know your game, you'll be copying my moves. So I'm gonna shout out the name of the shot and you're gonna demonstrate it perfectly for me. Ready? Jogging on the spot first. Forehand. Good. One hand for forehand, isn't it? Backhand. Good, jogging on the spot in between. Serve. Great serve. Serve, throw that ball up and hit it. Nice, backhand, forehand, forehand, serve, and backhand. Amazing work. Right, grab yourselves a quick drink. That is your warm up complete. After all of these home tennis sessions, when you finally get the opportunity to play tennis on a real tennis court, you are going to know exactly what you're doing. And the nice thing about playing on a proper tennis court is you don't have to worry about breaking any windows. You can hit the ball really hard into the corners of the court and you can hit all the different angles and all the different heights. It's great fun. But for now, we're learning loads of skills at home. Okay, so we're ready to start using some of our equipment. So what I want you to pick up is your racket or your substitute racket and your ball or your substitute ball. And you're going to find a space that is not underneath any lights, okay? So make sure if you look up at the ceiling, there's nothing above you, just a roof, just the ceiling. Okay, we don't wanna be near any lights. You're going to put your racket on the floor, like so, and you're going to hold your tennis ball in your weakest hand. So remember from last week, if you don't know which hand is your favorite hand, I want you to see if you can start writing your name in the sky. And that hand that you're using should be your writing hand. So we're gonna hold the ball in our other hand. So this is gonna be really tricky because this hand is usually a lot tougher. What I want you to try to do is stand sideways on 
and hold your tennis ball or your pair of socks above your racket. And just to make sure you're in the right place, you're going to drop it to see if it lands on your racket. So that shows that I'm in the right place. So do that now for me. Good, do it a couple of times. So you're gonna stand sideways on and you're gonna drop the ball onto your racket. And again, drop. We'll do three more. Good. Remember we're using our weakest hand, we're not using our good hand. Good, okay, so now that we know that we're in the right place, we're going to practice the first most important part of the serve, which is throwing the ball up. If your throw is wonky when you serve, it's gonna be impossible to hit. So it's really important that we can throw the ball straight. So I want you to see if you can throw the ball above your head and you're gonna see how close to your racket you can land the ball. So watch me first, up. Oh yes, I hit the racket. Have a go yourself. Good, if it's really good and you do better than me, it will hit right on the middle of the racket strings. So throw the ball up. Good, I hit the edge again. So remember, it's got to go above your head. I, I know lots of cheeky tennis players that cheat on this one and just do a tiny throw like this, but it must go above your head. Oh, I'm good at hitting the edge. Keep going, everybody. Make sure you're using your weakest hand, throw the ball up and get it to bounce on the strings. Good. Okay, that should be enough practice time. So let's make it into a competition like we normally do. 30 seconds to see how many you can get. Now, if you're like me and it keeps hitting the edge, it's gonna be tricky to get a big score because you're gonna be chasing the ball around everywhere. So I think in 30 seconds, a good score would be two or maybe three points. So I want you to see if you can beat that score. Your time starts now. Off we go, so throw it up. Okay, every time it hits the racket, you score one point. Oh yes, that's a good one. Good, make sure it goes above your head, but not too high, because we'll lose control. You don't want it to hit the ceiling. Good, and again. Well done, keep it up, we've got five seconds to go. Make sure you're keeping count. Stop! Well done. So, how many times did your ball or your socks hit your racket. Tell me now. Excellent score, really, really good. It's not easy, it's really, really not easy. If you were using your favorite hand, it would have been much easier, but we don't like it being too easy. We like a challenge, don't we? Because we like a challenge, we are going to take it up a level. Your job is to do the same throw, but this time, instead of letting the ball bounce on the floor or on your racket, you're going to see if you can reach up with your good hand, your strong hand, and you're gonna catch above your head. When you catch, you're gonna see how straight your arm can be. So I'm gonna have a go here, ready? Throw up and catch. And you can see my arm is super straight. We're gonna try again, up and catch. If you catch it down here, that's okay, but it's a bit cheating, isn't it? So we want to see if we can catch it right above our head, like so. If that's too tricky, you can catch with two hands above your head. Have a practice, off you go. Good, make sure you catch it above your head. We don't want it to be too high because it makes it really difficult, but we don't want it too low because we need that arm to be straight. Good. Remember, we're throwing with our weak hand and catching in our strong hand. Last couple of practices. Amazing. And stop there, well done. Right, 30 seconds then. This is going to be a lot, lot tougher than the last game. In fact, I'll be impressed if anybody scores any points on this one because it's so, so tricky. So 30 seconds on the clock, how many times can you catch the ball above your head? If you catch it below your head, it doesn't count for a point. If you drop the ball, don't worry, you can carry on your score afterwards. Your 30 seconds starts now. Off we go. Good, throw that ball up using your weaker hand and catching your stronger hand. Make sure you're catching above your head. Remember, if it's too tricky, you can use two hands. Amazing, don't worry if you drop it a few times, that's fine. Just count the ones that you catch. Great job, we've got 10 seconds to go. Three, 
two, one, stop there. Well done, everybody. Now, can you shout your score to the screen now? Top, top work. Okay, now for the next challenge, this is the bit that gets fun, but tricky. You're gonna pick up your baseball cap. So for the next challenge, you need your baseball cap and you need your ball or your sock ball. I'm gonna use my sock ball just to show you that you can do it with both. Now, before we actually do the challenge, I want you to get used to swinging your serve in the right way. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like using my tennis racket, and then I'm gonna show you what you're going to do. So I don't want you to use your racket for this because when you do this indoors, it's a bit dangerous. You could be breaking lights and things. So don't copy me yet. I want you to watch first of all. Now, when you do a serve, like we said, we throw the ball up and we hit the ball above our head. And you'll notice that when I hit the ball, my arm is stretched up super high up here. Now, when I get to the back of my serve technique, here, we have an L shape. Okay, so we've got a nice L shape here. And this is the shape that I want you all to copy in a second. You're going to use your hat. So pick up your hat now, and I want you to hold your hat like this on the peak with your thumb on the inside of your hat. So not this way round, we don't want the outside of your hat, we want your thumb on the inside of your hat like this. And I want you to see if you can copy the big L shape that I made. So you can see I've got my hat in my hitting hand and my socks in my spare hand. And your job is to see if you can throw your socks up just like we practiced before but I want you to see if you can catch your socks in your hat. So we're gonna try here, are we ready? So throw, catch. I actually hit my socks. Are we ready? So we're gonna throw and catch. And you can see I've got my socks in my hat here. It's not easy, we'll try again, ready? So we've got the L shape, we've got our tennis ball or our socks ideally out in front, and we're gonna throw up and catch, and you can see I've caught it in my hat. So have a go yourselves. Remember, we're using our hat to catch the ball or the socks like so. Off you go. So throw and catch. Make sure we've got a nice L shape at the back here. Good, keep practicing. Don't worry if you hit a few. Sometimes it might knock off and go over into somewhere else in the room, that's fine. If you're using socks, they're nice and soft, so they're not gonna break anything. So same again, up and catch. Make sure you've got that nice L shape. Like I say, if you get really good at these, your serve is gonna be a rocket when you manage to get to the tennis courts. Good, I'm gonna give you five more seconds to practice. Three, two, one, and stop there, well done. So, challenge time, 30 seconds. In fact, in this one, because it's so much tougher, I'm gonna give you a whole minute, because I remember when I first tried this exercise, I failed about 100 times. I tried 100 times and I just couldn't catch it. The only reason I can catch it today is because I've had years and years of practice. So today, if you fail on this, don't worry, keep practicing. And as soon as you get good at it, that's the time to challenge your family members to see if you can beat them. Okay, so we're gonna start the timer. We're gonna see how many catches you can get in one minute. Your time starts now. Off we go. Up, catch. Make sure we're using that L shape. Good. If you do a nice gentle throw up, it'll make it a bit easier to catch. If you throw it too high and it goes near to the ceiling, it's going to be really, really tricky. Keep going, watching the ball or watching your socks. Make sure you get that catch in there. Good. Don't worry if you drop it, just pick it up and carry on your score. We're nearly halfway. Keep it up. Looking good, guys. Looking good. And even those ones that you're missing, you're still doing your L shape and you're still getting your throw to the right place to keep practicing. Good. We've got 15 seconds to go. Come on, you've got to see if you get one more point. You've got 10 seconds. Throw and cap using that L shape. Three, two, one, and stop there. Awesome stuff. Give yourselves a clap using your cap, amazing. And your score was, tell me. 
fantastic. Really, really top work. All of these exercises that we do in the sessions, you might find that one of them is your favorite and you can practice these in your own time. The more you practice these exercises, the better you're gonna be when you actually hit the tennis courts. So there you have it. You have just smashed our serving session. Now, before we go, we're gonna recap some of the things we learned. So remember, just like the last couple of weeks, in your brain, I want you to have a little think about some of the things that you've learned today. I'm gonna to give you some examples of the things that I think you could have learned, and you're gonna tell me if they were what you were thinking of. Okay, good. 10 seconds to have a think. Some of the things that you learned today. Okay, time up. So. The first thing that you could have learned, and if you think this is something you learned today, give me a big thumbs up, is that the most important shot in tennis is the shot we practice today, the serve. Give me a thumbs up if you remembered that. The second thing is that when we serve, we need to use our weaker hand to throw the ball, which is why it can be such a challenging shot. And it's our stronger hand that we use to hit the ball using our racket. When we hit a serve, do we hit the ball when it's down low or up high? Can you remember? That's right, we hit it with our straight arm, really high, stretching above our head. That's gonna give us lots and lots of power. What letter of the alphabet do we get to at the back of our swing? Can we remember? That's right, it's the L position. And some tennis players like to call it the Usain Bolt position. If you remember Usain Bolt's pose when he won the 100 meter sprint, that is the position you get in for the serve. So well done if you remembered all of those things, and I'm sure there were some other things that you learned in that session as well. In our next session, I'm gonna be teaching you how to rally. And then after that one, we've got one more week where we're gonna be putting everything together and having loads and loads of fun. So I can't wait to see you in our next session. See you there. A few days ago, uh, lots of you had a go at the plank challenge, so I thought I'd add a couple of variations for you to have a try at home. Um, whether you're kids, whether you're parents, give these a try. If you wanted to make it slightly easier, rather than the version we had before where you had to throw and catch, we can roll the ball across the floor. So we're looking to see how many rolls you can do. Six, seven, eight, before you collapse. If you wanted to make it slightly tougher, you can see if you can do a rally by yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to make it tougher still, do the same thing with your feet together. One, two, three. Give those a try. Let me know how you get on.